hallway, we are now entering the Haybrick Wing, where the opium goes through its final processing prior to packaging and worldwide distribution. We manufacture enough heroin here to supply fully one-fourth of the world's addicts. The tanks to your left store our biological chemicals for germ warfare, each with a capacity of 4,000 cubic liters. To my right is the atomic detonator with which Dr. Klein intends to threaten the entire world. Are there any questions? No? Good. Follow me. We remind you to stay near the white line and request you refrain from using flash bulbs. A toy robot? Come in.
Your technique is only surpassed by your courage, Mr. Lu. A magnificent display of skill. I am flattered by your curiosity. Evidently, you are anxious to see my operation. And who are they? Refuse. Found in water from bars. Shanghai? Just lost drunken men who don't know where they are and no longer care. Where are we? I don't care. And these? These are lost drunken men who don't know where they are, but do care. And these are men who know where they are and care, but don't drink. Wait a minute. I don't know who I am. Yeah, and I don't drink. God! Do you care? No. Put this man in chair number one and give him a drink. What do you drink? I don't care. Gentlemen! Regret we, we have discovered among us an unfriendly visitor. Mr. Lu will be punished for his treason. But that is not important right now. What is important is that my guards have accepted bribes and failed in their duties. Now, they must prove themselves worthy to remain among us. Let us meet our guards. Guard number one is a senior on Klan's Mountain and aspires to be a research chemist. Welcome, please, Hung Well. <laughs> Guard number two is a real skating buff. A warm welcome for Long Wang. <laughs> Traveling comes naturally to guard number three as he's a licensed airplane pilot. Welcome, please, enormous genitals. God number one, you are out on your first date. It is too late to see a movie. What do you propose to do? Well, uh, first we walk along the beach in the moonlight. Then I'll play love songs on my guitar. And the next morning... Hot cut! God number two, if I were asleep and you were my alarm clock, how would you wake me up in the morning? No, I wouldn't. I'm no ding-a-ling. How about you, number three? The same question. We are building a fighting force of extraordinary magnitude. We forge our spirits in the same tradition as our ancestors. Dr. Klan is a magnificent leader. He has our gratitude. Let's all give Dr. Klan a great big hand. <laughs> 